Hey guys, I'm frequently asked what kind of add-ons I use in WoW, so in this video we're going to cover all the add-ons I currently use. I had already made an add-ons guide before, but that was a while ago and it's a little outdated now. And just so you guys know, all my add-ons will have a link in the description below so that you can download them, because I'm nice like that. Alright, so the first one is CT mod. Now this mod allows you to modify a lot of the default Blizzard UI. You can do things like add or remove action bars, move around or remove completely things like class buttons, pet bars, rep bars, etc, etc. You can add keybinds, it automates your mailbox, it does a whole range of things and it's really, really handy to have. Next mod is Xperl Unit Frames. This add-on really just customizes your unit frames. It provides additional information about your team or target, has individual cast bars and a heap of information about them. You can scale the bars up and down to your liking and you can even customize the bars and how they look. Quartz. Now Quartz is my cast bar add-on. You can scale the bar up and down to your liking, but the main benefit of Quartz is to display your latency while you're casting. Now I know this doesn't do much for melee, but as a caster, if you're a healer or anything like that, uh, it will help you realize when to cancel your spell when you're casting it early and still get it off. Time Paddle is just a handy info bar that sits either above or below your screen. It shows things like your armor damage, location, bag space, gold, XP per minute, has a whole range of uh, separate add-ons you can add to it. It's just really handy, that's all. Move anything. Now this add-on does exactly what it says on the tin. It'll help you move anything at all that is part of the Blizzard default UI. Things like countdown timers and BGs or scoreboards, or an even better example is the points counter in the middle of the screen. Somehow this seems to get in the way of all my different UIs and mods and things like that. So with Move Anything, you can move that anywhere you want. Sexy map just uh, makes your map super sexy. You can scale it up and down. Uh, it has a heap of different skins to suit your taste. I have mine set to the Diablo skin. Tidy plates, used to clean up the target plates and intelligently stack them as opposed to the default, which is really messy in AOE situations. It has a lot of handy functionality, such as allowing you to see when you're about to get aggro or have aggro, and a whole range of different styles to customize the actual plates. Now onto a couple of make life easy macros. Auto repair, when you interact with an NPC that can repair, your armor is automatically repaired. Another one is sell your junk. Basically, any gray or white junk items, as soon as you interact with a vendor NPC, it sells them automatically, making it so much easier. Now on to my bag add-on. This is called Bagnon, and uh, what it does is it, it basically combines all your bags into one giant bag. It'll color code certain items, you know, blues, epics, greens, white items, stuff like that, which is really handy. And uh, the really cool thing about this add-on also is you can check your bank, which is super, super important. If you need to check how much mats you need or what you need to buy from the AH, you can quickly check through your bags. So that's really cool. Whoa, hang on a sec. Anyway, as I was saying about Bagnon, uh, yeah, the other cool thing you can do is you can search for items as well. Um, so it's got lots of functionality than a normal bag add-on, so I definitely recommend it. Next add-on is called Plate Buffs. Now this is an awesome add-on that displays buffs on your nameplates. You can show all buffs or specific buffs, but for me, I use this when I'm healing just to watch where my hots are spreading. Scrolling combat text, nice and simple add-on, displays healing received, damage taken via numbers, you can customize how they appear, you know, whether they go up or down, left or right, fading in and out, and the font that's used to display those numbers. Tell me when. 
This is a fantastic mod which provides visual cues that allows you to keep track of certain buffs or debuffs under a certain specific set of rules and conditions. To give you an example, you can have this mod tell you when Rising Sun Kick debuff is affecting your target or when your Tiger Power buff is up. These visual cues are crucial to ensuring that you maintain these two abilities and that will increase your performance overall greatly. If you want to know how to set up Tell Me When just like I have, please check out the link below for a tutorial on this. Vex Power is a mod that I use to display my energy resource in the middle of the screen. You can scale the size of it, the text, the color, it has a whole range of customization options so it's really cool. Nug Combo Bar. Now this was originally designed for Rouges but now this mod will show you how many Chi Balls you have. It looks really awesome, has a lot of different settings and styles uh, for how your Chi Balls look. The main thing that I use this add-on for is it really does show you how many Chi Balls you have. It stands out from your usual UI so that's really handy. To have. Now onto my PvP add-ons. First one is Battleground Targets. Now if you're planning to do RBGs, this is a must-have add-on. It gives you vital information about your enemy team that you must have in RBGs. Now next season, majority of people are going to be doing RBGs, so pick this add-on up, learn how to use it, and it will help you a great deal. Next one is Gladius. Uh, it's very similar to Battleground Targets, but it's specifically for Arena only. It's a really cool add-on that tells you what your current DRs on a specific target, and that'll help you time full duration CC moves and things like that. It's a must-have for any serious Arena players. Next one is Deadly Boss Mods. Now this was specifically created for alerts and timers for PvE boss fights, but it actually has some use in PvP as well. It'll let you know how long until the flag or node is capped. For certain BGs it'll calculate who will win and how long it'll take to win. You can also post or announce these timers in chat and that'll help your team out a lot. The next mod is Healers Have to Die. Now what this does is it places a huge healing symbol above a healer as soon as they are detected and it makes it a lot easier to spot them out in huge crowds and take them out real quickly. Another mod I use is Debuff Filter. Now what this does is it displays short duration buffs on your enemy. So things like Recklessness, Deterrence, Ice Block, Bubble, you can perfectly time your abilities as soon as they are about to end. Next mod is Doom Cooldown Pulse. Now this is a great little mod that shows a quick visual flash of the most recent ability that has completed its cooldown. This is especially handy for monks considering the wide array of short cooldown abilities that we have. Another add-on I have is Tolbarad Mask. Now this add-on shows you when Tolbarad is up, clicking it will queue you in for it. It also tells you which faction currently has taken Tolbarad in case you want to dodge defending it and stuff like that. Just so you guys know, TB provides a lot of honor, so it's worth doing every time it's up. And finally, Gladiator Lossa. Now what this is is a helpful little voice that announces specific events that help you in any PvP situation, such as when the target has trinketed, or when they're drinking, or using recklessness. And that's it guys, I hope this video answers all your questions about my add-ons. If you have any questions at all, drop me a comment and I'll do my best to reply to them. As always, thanks for watching.